I had to sit down and um, find a you know a more uh, simple and less complex and a, and a and a quicker way to say things that I just said. So I deleted the last video. Um, uh, you know, as far as uh, having a, a comfortable life. Uh, that when you're living right and you're living the Lord's prayer, that'll take care of itself. As far as liking yourself, you're gonna have to understand the perfection of the Lord's prayer, stand up for it, live it. If you want to like yourself, and then you'll have comfortable lives. You know, you won't have people selling ice cream, selling potato chips. You know, uh, wanting photo ops and and wanting to be popular and famous because we're still being selfish and stupid, right? That kind of shit needs to stop, right? And uh, as far as everything else, you know, that's going to take care of itself. And, uh, you know, I do look forward to uh, being able to uh, recover and heal while the skies are, are clean and not, you know, polluted through uh, economic conflict and scientific experiments. And, and I'm sick of seeing these people on these Weight Watchers commercials and all these damn commercials of people being... Uh, trying out for acting roles to get a job to look attractive eating pizza to keep billionaires billionaires you know aren't you sick of it I, I'm totally fed up with it I'm sick of it all the, you know and um, when you reject selfishness it's something that's in you, uh, you you're born with it okay Jesus, Joseph, Daniel, Moses, Hela Selassie, you know, Judah Krishnamurti. Okay. Some people are born to reject selfishness because they're the spirit that provides life to the body, okay, is um, perfect like Job and Jonah's and Jesus and Daniel and Moses and Muhammad, you know. And a lot of people have trouble understanding that because they turn us into mythology as opposed to being real people like my mom said you know they really burp and we really do and uh we can really take a beating oh my gosh <laughs> you don't understand it when it's happening to you you know you have no idea how strong you are or how intelligent you are until selfish people try to compare themselves to you. You have no idea what it's like. Okay? You have no idea what it's like to be... Um, the people know about your life before you're born. Uh, study you and constantly compare and compete against you because they want to be better than you. Because of the eternal wretchedness of selfish people wanting to replace the perfect people like Job and Jonah with the selfish person, you know, like Voldemort's character, you know, everybody, you know, worship me or whatever stuff. And, and then trying to take the narrative and change it to suit the selfishness of other people that want to be successful, you know, like RK Rowling's being upset about, she can't articulate intelligently her issues with homosexuality. Okay. It's just a social thing that she's, you know, that she can't explain. Okay. My um, issues with homosexuality is being promoted for genocide operations, okay? And I don't like to see my children uh, manipulated and murdered through aggressive sexual manipulation and, of science projects and, and, and marketing, right? That's my objection with homosexuality is that, you know, people sodomizing each other to death to maintain the surplus population is horrible. And not all homosexual people are kind like Corey and Stephen Mendoza. Remember Stephen told me about that one attractive black gentleman in town that got AIDS and slept with as many people as he could so he wouldn't go out alone. Like, like Eric Epp told me, you know, if I ever got AIDS, I would screw everybody I could to take as many people with me. And I'm like, you need to take Solomon Rushdie and Machiavelli and go flush them down the toilet. And then when we got into it, and I sit there and he said, you know, and I said, you should just wear a condom. He says, when I go in the shower, I don't wear a raincoat. I was like, yeah, but most people don't shower in the sewer either. You know, so I was just like, do you understand? I sound like, say, I sound like um, St. Augustine, kind of, you know. 
but it's not, um, uh, you know, when people lose their dignity and their self-respect, they will fuck to make the most money and then rub it in other people's faces. We see it all the time on TV, right? Okay. You're just mad because everybody doesn't want to pay a lot of money to fuck you. No. You know, like with Stephanie told me, you know, I was upset because in our year of being divorced, she said, you're just mad because I've slept with more women in this last year than you have your whole life. And it's like, I, I probably turned down more women sexually, you know, in, in high school than, than you've had pick up on you at the gay bars here in town. You know, so, <laughs> okay, do you understand? Lots of girls, you know, lots of girls well, you want to, you know, oh, I'll have sex you know, with Vicky Dunlap, with Mr. Bradley and stuff. And more girls would have asked if I would have taken them up on it and developed a sexual reputation that I was capable of. Okay, but it's wrong. Okay, it's wrong to use girls for sex. The way I explained it to Mr. Bradley, I was like, Melissa, I could have sex with you for three hours be right after school before your old man gets home for a whole three weeks solid till you're on your period and then see you in school and say, hey, Melissa, how's it going? You, you telling everybody we're having sex? Think Yvonne Rodriguez will have sex with me now or Ursula Castro? You know, that's how guys can be. If I'm using you for sex and then build a sexual reputation, then the other girls who, oh, well, I got to try this out. Okay? And that's wrong. I wanted a relationship that was based off of mutual dignity and respect and value not off of sexual prowess and comparing yourself in a sexually competitive dysfunctional dynamic okay like watching you know when you watch that uh, that marry me show okay that was obviously getting back at alex rodriguez for betraying her okay on a subconscious level and a lot of her movies are like that because she's stuck with a lot of people that are very immature. Okay. And then that affects the children. And the children are affected by that immaturity instead of us living mature lives like Job and, 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 and his wife. Okay. So, guys, you got to understand that this is, this is a... People that are addicted to manipulating people, you can't make them uh, stop doing what they're doing. Um, you can't. They have to stop themselves. And if they can't stop themselves, then this technology is going to have to shift to stop them. Okay? And it's been said in all our books for hundreds of years, maybe even thousands. I don't know. I don't read those Eckhart Tolle, holy books of blah, 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 blah. I don't do that. You're being obnoxious. Yes, because all the books are manipulated by the people that consider themselves in power. Okay? I... The Bible is not, look, the Bible is Jerome's and Constantine's writings, okay? What's special about the Bible is the spirit of Jesus Christ, the spirit of Adam, the spirit of uh, Malachi, Melchizedek, Esther, Ruth, okay? It's not the pages and the stories of mythology written down by an asshole who has you waiting for 2,024 years for Jesus to show up and save you from that asshole, okay? It's the spirit of the people in the Bible that's important, not a book. If I write I'm gravity on a piece of uh, a paper and you all agree to it, then you all going to kill people and fight like hell with people because you all agreed that I was gravity and now someone's saying he's not gravity? No, because I'm not. Okay, do you understand? Okay, so I love you guys very much. Faith should be based on reality. Okay? And you don't like yourself because you've accepted the fallacy because you're being selfish. You stop being selfish, you won't accept fallacy anymore, and you won't accept sell people selling you ice cream and to make themselves multimillionaires. Okay? We can have ice cream without multimillionaires. Okay? Do you understand? We don't need multimillionaires to have really good ice cream. And we don't need beer and yak piss commercials anymore because that's just stupid. You, you only need to get drunk to forget about life for a while when you don't like yourself because you refuse to stand up for the perfection of the Lord so he can enjoy his wife, his life, and his children. Okay? So we've got to get me there too sweet because Jonathan from Colonial Penn is a fucking idiot and I should have called sooner. Don't call at all. Stand up for the Lord's Prayer. Then you don't have to call an idiot who gives you money so you can put your dead body in the ground and your family won't be asked to pay extortion put your dead body in the ground it's fucking stupid okay stop being fucking stupid okay. i love you